Dan Perkins, Jasper County cover crop guy, and um, we're in um, south of Wheatfield, and it's September 20, 28th, and we're planting wheat as a cover crop for haylage, and then we're also mixing in two pounds of radish per acre. Um, and we're just, as you can see, you can see the drill working there, and we put about a, a pound of radish per 50 pound bag to get us at that rate. And this ground had three years of alfalfa, and then it was burned down, and manure was put on it, dairy manure, and then also dairy solids. So lots of fertility, lots of um, traffic on it over the alfalfa, and then um, just putting on all that manure and solids. And so they're gonna throw this into wheat and the radish, what we're hoping there is that we're gonna have that radish take up any leftover nitrogen from that manure scavenge it. Since the wheat, it does scavenge the nitrogen, but the radish will scavenge it um, quite a bit better and because it's going to grow longer in, into the fall and we're going to have a radish seed about every what we're aiming for is eight to ten inches in the row ideally and um, that radish is going to scavenge nitrogen it's going to get to about the goal is here pencil size radish so we're looking for a radish that's pencil size uh, maybe your thumb size and that will go about 20 inches um, and so that's deeper than any ripper, um, chisel ripper that could get. So it's going to help break up the compaction from all this traffic. And um, that's then going to release that nitrogen. That radish is going to winter kill when it's down to 20 degrees for three nights in a row. And we're going to have that nitrogen released early spring, probably around March or April, half of that nitrogen then that radish took up. So let's just safely assume that radish is taking up 75, 80 units of nitrogen. It's going to release it to that wheat right when it needs it. When wheat takes off in the spring, um, and uh, we're going to have a nice uh, heavy haylage crop. And we're going to watch this field throughout the year because in that seed box, it's a 20 foot drill. We put radish only on one side. So we're going to have basically 10 foot strip of radish and wheat and a 10 foot strip of just wheat. So we're going to be able to compare it visually. We'll probably do a, a soil pit dig, and um, we'll see what kind of results we get. We'll also do a biomass sampling um, of the wheat and, and radish before it's cut. And so we'll have a comparison uh, to see if the radish really resulted in yield increase. Because we want to, of course, pr protect the environment and be responsible with our manure and nutrients, but also result in yield at the same time, then it's a win-win for everybody. Dan Perkins, Jasper County Cover Crop Guy.